One of the games tiered across the board that has a very unique game mechanic is a game called Shadows Over Camelot by Days of Wonder. Shadows Over Camelot plays from 3 to 7 people and is a cooperative game. In other words, it's the players against the game. We are set to the world of King Arthur's Round Table. Each of us are playing a knight. In the beginning of the game, he or she receives an identity card which shows if you're playing for the good side or the bad side, in other words, if you're a traitor. After that, the game is very simple at its core. At the beginning of every turn, the game goes first, representing the evil side. It has different options. Most commonly, it draws cards and tries to beat us in the different quests that we can go to in order to receive bonuses. After that, it's every knight's turn. The knight, as well, has different options that he or she can choose. The most common one is to either go on a quest, trying to defeat evil and get bonuses, or play a card onto those quests, trying to collect different sets or different conditions of winning the quest. If evil wins the quests, it gets different kind of bonuses, most commonly black swords. If white wins the quest, it also gets swords, most commonly white swords, or other kind of bonuses good for the good side. The game has different victory conditions. One of the most common victory conditions is that all the slots of the swords in King Arthur's table are full. If the majority of the swords are white, the good side wins. If the majority of the swords are black, the bad side wins, including the traitor. Because we never know who the traitor is, this game also creates a lot of suspicion and backstabbing. It's a wonderful game with a very interesting experience. So come on down and check it out here across the board.